Russian President Vladimir Putin has closed the summit of the BRICS bloc of developing economies, praising its role as a counterbalance to the West. The alliance includes nations such as Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Roger Collins joins us live in studio with more tonight. What can you tell us, Roger? Manisa, the three-day summit was attended by leaders and representatives from 36 countries, highlighting the failure of U.S.-led efforts to isolate Russia over Ukraine. Leaders who attended the BRICS summit in Russia touched on a number of issues, including ending the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Today, Russian President Vladimir Putin saying Moscow is ready to consider any option to end the conflict, but only proceeding from, quote, reality on the ground. The Palestinian president, who also attended, told the summit that there was an urgent and pressing need to implement the UN Security Council resolution for an immediate ceasefire, the entry of humanitarian aid, and the complete Israeli withdrawal from the Gaza Strip. The president of Venezuela and Bolivia both condemned Israeli attacks in Gaza. Meanwhile, United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres told BRICS leaders that the world needed peace in Gaza, Lebanon, Ukraine, and Sudan. The Pact for the Future includes important steps on disarmament, including the first multilateral agreement on nuclear disarmament in more than a decade, and steps that address the weaponization of outer space and the use of little autonomous weapons. Across the board, we need peace. Putin said the Middle East was on the brink of a full-scale war. He added that Moscow did not want the conflict to worsen and that he believed no country in the region wanted a, quote, big war. Putin told the Palestinian president that Russia supports a two-state solution in the Mideast conflict. During the summit, he also didn't deny U.S. claims that North Korea had sent troops to Russia. Meanwhile, China's president said it supported more global South countries joining the BRICS grouping. Besides the countries that officially joined the BRICS family back in January of this year, over 30 countries like Thailand, Malaysia, Turkey and Azerbaijan have either formally applied for or expressed internship, interest sorry, in membership with uh, BRICS. Manisa? Thanks, Roger.